This one's been in my backlog forever. I've been wanting to do this one for a long time. Super popular. I'm pretty sure most people here either have already seen it or have already played it. Whatever. I'm still playing it. <laughs> All oh. life is only a set of pictures in the brain, among which there is no difference betwixt those born of real things and those born of inward dreamings. Uh huh. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Oh. Um. Okay. I thought we'd have a slow build. Um. Okay. Little spectral jellyfish. Is this. Is this kind of what we're in for for the whole game? Oh. Hello. Uh, okay. Sir, I think the ground you built your shack on is gone. There are things that cannot be undone. Uh-huh. Am I supposed to poke you? Dr. Faust, is that poke. you? Okay. <laughs> um, okay. I think I know what was causing the weird dream now. Why do you have experimental technology just sitting next to your bed? Was that my uh, bed? That wasn't even my bed. Oh, my head! Ah, the pain! Okay, I can't move though. I'm lost. The pain is subsiding. I thought my head was about to explode. Uh huh. This device, its noises are resonating in my mind. I think that's called radiation. You might want to get out of here. Just saying. Um. Okay. Sure. Is there a door? Yeah, I'm leaving. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Oh, the flashlight lags behind. I'm gonna hear something. I'm gonna Anybody whip here? like this. I'm not gonna be able to see anything. Where is everybody? That's kind of scary. Beats me, dude. Stop those bloody sessions. Okay. I'm not reading all of this. Just go through. Um. Was I supposed to go this way? A snowstorm is expected to hit for the next two weeks. I'd, I'd say your predictions were right. Well, this sucks. If I remember... It's cloudy. All I can remember is the successful establishment of the Upper Water Antarctic Base. And after that, nothing is clear in my mind. I'm pretty sure this game is based on the Mountain of Madness, H.P. Lovecraft story. Which is why I was about to say I think we're in Antarctica, but he literally just said that. So, can I go through here? Yes, I can. <laughs> Okay. Shock hazard. I'm probably gonna need... Never mind. Alright. <laughs> if I get in trouble, I'm gonna have to heal myself with well wishes. Okay. This hose was tampered with. This hose was tampered with. Okay. Are you telling me I need a hose? Well, there's tape. Great. I wasn't warned that I'm gonna have to use my brain in this game. Okay. Hmm. 
I don't know what any of this does. Maybe there was something else in the main base that I was supposed to pick up. Um, hi. The abundance of five-pointed shapes seen in the design of structures we've come across cannot be overlooked. Something, 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 something. Auxiliary power needs to be enabled manually from outside. Okay. Oh, here we go. Alright. It's locked. Looks okay. like we're having a power problem right now. Little boat. So they've already been taking photographs of stuff that have been going on, that they've been finding. Familiar visits in the lower chambers, once more in the form of a black cat. Its spectral image echoes throughout the seven rooms. Watson called it out from its hollow, looming, dim, and ghost-like. I guess I have to go looking for a power thingy, which I'm pretty sure is what I was messing with, but I don't have the components. Whatever. Um. <laughs> Tank is empty. Well, that just sounds like a matter of perspective. I say the tank is waiting to be filled. Oh, there's literally a gas can right here. Okay. Uh, that didn't sound like gas. Never mind. Just anyway. And now we push the the go button. Is that what these are? Oh, we really do. Okay. In before it explodes. I, I think I I think I like the dark in here better. To be totally honest. What is that knocking noise? Uh. <gasps> oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> what was that? I've... That heartbeat does not simulate my heartbeat at the moment. Mine is going way faster. Oh my goodness. Well, I didn't like that. Thank you very much. Stop it. <sighs> I hate this game already. Boo! Okay. No. Alright. <laughs> uh! Door just closed itself. The radio room. What's in the radio room? Do I want to know? Uh, it seems like I'd want this. You know, take pictures of the spooky people at the end of the hall, that sort of thing. Can I take these? Why are we? Not taking basic. Okay. Oh, I can take the radio to talk to no one. Okay, sure. Some electrical condition in the disturbed air seems to prevent communication. I concur, I guess. I don't need to take this, right? <sighs> I'm afraid I'm gonna need this. But luckily, in real life, I have sort of survival gear. It's a cell phone. It's not exactly survival gear, is it? Just shut up. I will take this. Did that picture come out? Yes, it did. Okay. Let's hope and pray I don't need that. If I'm gonna insist on playing horror games and puzzle games on this channel, I'm probably gonna have to actually learn Morse code at some point. <laughs> That's a little terrifying. Seem consent. 
blah 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 I'm not falling for it. It'll happen at this door. Okay, never mind. Knowledge and elder things recur all the time in almost every base relief. From the elder things, fabled creatures from primal myths. Um, those creatures aren't here still, are they? I know you called them myth, but I've played enough horror games to know nothing is mythical, nothing is sacred. Nothing is safe. Nothing is normal. You know. You know how it goes. I... I don't know what's in there. Honestly. And I don't know if I want to be in here with it. But I suddenly had the horror thought in my brain that something was going to be out there. Glossopters. Gloss... Glossopterus. Yes. Is it the tree? Okay. I mean, it's kind of cool to have a green tree growing in the soil in Antarctica. Oh! Hi. Jeez. <laughs> you suck. I'm not following you. You can be friends with somebody by scaring them at the end of the hallway all the time. Screw you. I did not read the controls. That's what a prepared mind would do. Oh! <laughs> Betrayed by my own kind. I hate you. You're now dinner. Oh my goodness. Friggin... Ah. This game's gonna keep doing this, isn't it? Um... Is this from the... What is it called? The Voynich? Manuscript? Something like that? Voynich? Manuscript. Let me look it up real quick. Actually, I don't have to look it up because I have the PDF of it. Yeah, right here. Moynik Manuscript. That is from the Moynik Manuscript. All three of these are. Well, that's interesting. New campsite was established. Waiting for new samples. There's a problem with the... With one. Of the freezers. I marked it. It must be checked immediately. Uh-huh. Hush. You're coming with me. You're not my emotional support cat. Uh, sure. Alright. Dr. Faust is very tight-lipped. A strange exploration device he built a long- he built long ago. The only thing he has told me is that he came across some shunned and forbidden volumes about a device of extraterrestrial origin. But again, these sources do not hint that any existed on Earth except in the dreams of those who like to chew a certain alkaloidal herb. The sessions we hold in the meeting room to adapt our nervous systems to the alien impulses of the machine were frightening at first. If used too much, it affects the body to breaking point. But now... I'm used to its non-human sensations. I've started to I've started to feel like the device is clearing my mind to make it absorb much more than it ever before. I feel unconfined and much more receptive. But the most peculiar aspect of the sessions are that, because it is a shared experience, I'm able to receive impressions, ideas, and even memories which belong to the other participants. Usually my mind wanders after the sessions end, and I cannot focus my thoughts until I've slept for several hours. The strange device surely disorients feelings and bodily functions, but I believe that what it offers is of immense importance. Sure, dude. What did he say? Alright, I'm feeling like this is definitely one of those hidden object games. What is this? Temple? Flooded caves and base. Provisional camp equipment was deployed to the underground caverns below the base without any problem. Submarines also work great. 
They are fast and maneuverable beyond my predictions. We started exploring some parts of the underwater passages, but it is slow going. I was looking at that. Goodness. Temple? Okay. Alright, I'm definitely not finding something down here. I think... Perhaps... I don't know how much backtracking there's gonna be in this game. I don't even know if I'm headed towards anything useful right now. It's only one way to find out, though. I never did go into the room that the spooky ghost came from. Bot. I didn't mean to click it twice. Locked. <laughs> okay. The heck are all of these? Is it is it holding marijuana? No. No, it definitely isn't. Okay. I don't know what that is. His coat is just right here. Where is he now? Hmm. Okay. Well, I've made a mess of this room. <laughs> well, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, I don't like this either. Dude, all of this sucks. Hello? Moody lighting. Oh, hello. Is this a thing I can use on the thing? I think it is. Awesome. There's blood on this one. Great. These nightmares have become unbearable. I still see the man in my nocturnal visions, but now he's holding something in his hand, which I believe to be a lotus flower. Oh, so that was that was a lotus flower, not weed. Got it. We seem to be continuing this grave and serious conversation again and again, but I still can't remember the contents. During working hours, sometimes, I hear his voice through the radio. It is not in a form of meaningful sentences, but more like some unconscious mutterings. I'm afraid to tell anyone about this. Or I hate the very idea of the suspension I will probably be facing. Hello, brightness. Okay, there we go. One of the composite sculptures we've come across during initial field trips it has open third eye on his forehead as well as inside of its hand. I think it indicates some kind of state of knowing because allusions to a knowledge and elder things recur all the time in most every base relief we have discovered so far. Talk about a run-on. All this leads to me to believe these creatures inhabiting those halls have acquired some kind of knowledge from the Elder Things, fabled creatures of primal myths. Okay. Oh! Okay. Got jump scared by the goggles. By the achievement system. Oh! What's this? Ah, uh, Okay. I am inclined more towards the notion, towards to the notion that our nocturnal visions are not just faint and fantastic reflections of our walking, waking experiences. Every time I pass into a state of dormancy, somehow I can explore while I'm dreaming the vistas of grandeur. An alien prospect in unnatural disposition, so vividly expressing the outer extent of this world I have yet to discover. I have, if only I was endowed with the artistic skill to describe my visions, all I know is that all this became evident after the Conarium sessions had started. So the Conarium is the name of that machine. Okay. Even though I am not one of the participants, I am somehow affected. I feel I am absorbed while in an unconscious state into the oblivion crossing the line beyond the wall of sleep. L. Ferguson. Okay. Oops. Oh, it's a plant. Uh oh. Is this an ending? <coughs> Kitty, you might want to run. I wish I'd had known that that was what we were dealing with. Kitty, you might want to, you might want to leave. I don't know if I should have done that now. I feel like that was an optional thing.
shitty. Kitty? I, I don't want to go towards the cat, but this invisible wall right here is making me... Okay, fine. So I have a couple of questions. <sighs> oh, it got really dark and spooky all of a sudden. Okay. Sounds good. Oh. Hey, the door opened. I'm starting to feel like maybe opening that was a mistake. Okay. You enjoy. Have fun. Oh. Okay. Fine. All right. It's. <sighs> I see how it is. Uh oh. Me dead. Me live. Me alive. Is is me part of the tree now? Help. Who is this? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. I concur. It's kind of nasty. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh well. I'm ready. Well, I didn't want to read that anyway. Oh, never mind. We have finally finished excavating the monolith that was silently waiting for the soul to see it again. A soul to see it again. Situated within the circular building, we reached with the link elevator. The magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under a mound of debris, and most probably could have been written in the earliest pages of history. I cannot describe exactly my feelings for the first time when I stood aghast, contemplating the gigantic stonework inside of those time-worn halls of silence. Only God knows how many ages have passed since its initial carving. Just thinking about its age sends shivers down my spine. Which civilizations could have constructed such grandeur? Now waving a forlorn goodbye without giving away the secrets of its masters. Furthermore, even though most of them are damaged beyond repair, we spotted some symbols resembling the rock art of the Sahara Desert in the southwest... Southwest? <laughs> it's southeast Algeria. We don't have any strong evidence to suggest anything, but Cornell Blake clings mostly to the continental drifted theory. In any case, we don't have enough data on its age, but it's evident that history needs to be rewritten yet again. So the continental drift theory, of course, being that all continents were connected once. One massive continent called Pangaea. Alright. What the heck is this? I thought it was a plant at first, but it's looking more like a squid. It's got... Tiny feet. Is that what all oh, of these are? Yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Why did why did you say that so casually? Oh, yes. These oh, are the yes. pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. I've 100% heard this guy's voice before. I just don't know where. Because all I have is a key. I too am a fan of dubstep. Right. I don't know if you can hear me, but I am trying to search it. This is the only way. Uh huh. Hey! Hey, can you hear me? Damn it. This animation is a little janky. Who was he? Latest conversation has been added to your journal. Great. Cool. Um, cavern entrance tower base. Link elevator has been set up. It can, uh, it can now reach both the tower and bottom levels below this, the base. Camp equipment and parts for the portable submarines are being transported to the first campsite. Can I, can I get the lever back from this one? Is that something I can do? Please? 
I asked nicely. Okay. Well, fine. Uh, okay. I don't know when that unlocks. Uh, oh! Ah. Uh, squid person. Hi, squid people. Oh, I had to walk up to it. Okay. Catchers. I believe no more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. I think you should retire to your room. I I am going to think a bit more. What kind of psychopath just keeps skulls in the room. I'll follow the banning noise. Last time I did, it worked out so well. Um, that's a reference to a demon. Should I be concerned about that? I, I've played demonologist. I know where this is going. I don't need a cockroach-fueled EMF detector Lock. to know where this is headed. I got knocked unconscious by the leaves, therefore referring to my earlier theory. We are now one with the plant. Can't convince me otherwise. Oh! Handle! Give me the handle. This is all I needed. Thank you. Pronunciation of the... When I need a pronunciation book, I pronounce the name of the pronunciation book. Wait a minute. Can I zoom in on this? No, I can't. It says Boulder City Ruins, Cyclopean City, Mountains of Madness, out to southwest. Nothing else is labeled, though. That's weird. Okay. Alright, well. It was nice meeting the cat and, uh, getting assimilated into a flower and also going to a, a man's demon-possessed house. Um, but I think I have to go now, so... All good things must come to an end, right? I have decided we're going up, I guess. I, I don't know if I was in control of that. I've been playing this game for an hour already, and it feels like it's been 20 minutes. That's a good sign. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and posit a theory. And, uh, the theory kind of goes like this. This is not what's supposed to freaking be here. That's my, that's my hypothesis. What on earth am I looking at? This is like some kind of weird alien ruin, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh, the screen is doing weird things again. <sighs> am I gonna meet a squid people? Hello, Tornado. Taz? This is oh, amazing. No. Okay. Most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms, and thus weathered into shapeless ruins. However, both the ground level and the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe are the tall, occasional, towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. Hmm. Could there be oh. some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use? I'm not sure. So our choices are Alien technology, or they worship light beams. You know, maybe I'm the only weirdo here that ever does this, but have you ever thought about, like, if another species here on Earth became sentient and started religions and everything else? Like, think about a moth, right? They probably just worship light bulbs. Um... I, 
I don't, I don't like that those icicles are there. Kind of don't want to walk under those. Oh great, there's more. Never mind. So, uh, if I could ask a potentially obvious question, what the heck is that? I, uh, you know, I've at times had questions in video games, but I kind of feel like I have more about this one than most others. Wait. So, huh. this is the strong light that can be seen from ground level. I didn't see that. Was I supposed to be able to see that? I didn't see that. Oh. Hello. What the heck? What is this? Ornamental metal object. Well, thanks. That helps. Into the caverns. Only good things can happen in the caverns, I'm pretty sure. Uh, do I need this? Dangerous plants. There's some strange vegetation filling most of the hallways and am is amazingly deadly. I'm paraphrasing because I speak normal English. There's a hidden world right beneath that, yes, the base. And even though I was prepared to find such a place, it was way different than imagining alone. We tried to cut our way through, but the plant reacted with a highly poisonous gas seemingly com coming, coming from its glowing buds. I issued a warning to stop anyone going near any of these plants that come across any of those caverns. I also noticed a strange phenomenon after I spent some time examining the sample from the plant. It occurred to me that individual vines grow and shrink in length on demand. It also seems as though it can move, even though there are no air currents, and this movement seems too regular to be caused by natural factors. This may sound strange, but I have the notion that it is conscious, at least on some level. Great. Cool. Can't wait hey, to. Anyone here? Why? Why would you do that? You don't know Dr. what else James? is down here, dude. Dr. Shut up. Morgan? Shut up. Anybody? Shut up. Where are they, for God's sake? Oh my goodness! Shut up. Jeez. Oh. Uh, sure. That goes here. Apparently. Twisty, twisty. I pushed the wrong button. There it goes. Okay. The heck was that? Okay. Whatever. Anyway. Well, there's, uh, insects down here. A sacrificial altar. That's gotta be what this is, right? And this is where the aliens come out of. Okay. Oh. Who do what? How the what? And the how? What was that I've just seen? I... I don't know. Because I didn't see anything. I think I was supposed to keep watching it, but I definitely didn't. I'm sorry. 
Let's go this way. I guess. Can I have a better flashlight? Is that an option? Hello? Um, okay. Uh, that's mine now. Thank you. I guess. Pieces of stone with different glyphs on them. Very descriptive, thank you. What the heck is this? Is this a deep one? It's very fishy look. Looking. Fishy look, yes. Alright, well, thanks for the rocks. Uh, bye. I guess we're going this way. Deeper into the dark and mustiness we go. Should I perhaps be concerned about the, the chanting going on that direction? What the heck? Uh, uh, oh, my brain parts. Hmm. If I am not mistaken, this relief depicts that the overgrown floor we came across at the various points in the cavern uh, can be cleared away with an iridescent device, a tool or a talisman. Curiously, we still haven't been able to find the roots of those plants. Mm -hmm. They seem to seep out of these caverns by passing through crevices which look as if intentionally made for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what other secrets might these silent halls conceal from us? I don't know. Okay, well... Uh huh. My team will continue exploration through this gateway. Other expedition parties can commence when ready. Okay. Well, considering you're not back, I guess we know how well that went. Oh boy. We're just gonna keep avoiding that for now. Um, is that a. Is that supposed to depict a giant eyeball? This feels like a bad idea. <sighs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, how am I supposed to know which one goes where? <laughs> Is this a trial and error thing? Well, this is horrible. Is that a dead guy? Uh-oh. Why would I ever... That's gonna smell. How did you move that? You... Okay. couple questions. I do feel bad about this, just so you know. Wait, what is this? Oh, more grave robbing. Awesome. Oh good, this one's empty. Wait a minute. That doesn't mean it's mine, does it? Oh! Okay. Hi. What's up? <laughs> The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here. Matches uh -huh. with what is written in the oldest parchment. Uh -huh. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. Uh huh. Okay. So. Ah. Uh. Welcome. Memorize Oh. 
I've seen a vision near the rock tablet in a place that looked somewhat like an ancient burial ground. There was a diagram consisting of several glyphs carved on the rock's polished surface, and one glyph in particular was mentioned by the silhouette that appeared in the vision. I copied down the diagram and marked that glyph. So we have Anvil, button-up shirt, Texas, sunny beach, and a UFO. Alright. So the Anvil goes here. The button-up shirt goes over here. Texas goes over here. The sunny beach goes down here. And the UFO goes here. Okay. Hey, Hulk. Oh. Okay. All right. In before it closes behind me. Well, we seem to have two diverging paths here. Oh. Oh, I've got a very stylish haircut. This is a bad idea. Did I just open my third eye? Is that what that was? My third eye is now open. Minecraft is photorealistic. Oh, that's Mr. Walkie. Yes, Walkie. Frank, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, thank God. Yes, I can hear you. It seems the effect of the mixture starts to wear off. Frank, heed me carefully. Time is running out, so I must be brief. Where exactly are you? In Dr. cave Bryce, number three. You? I'm inside the caves below the base. Where are you? Listen. I cannot talk much. I know that you are having trouble remembering. But you must keep going. Use one of the submarines and follow the light. Hear me! Come on, please! Where are you? Damn it! The connection is lost. He said I have to keep going. Why? Where are they? I'm just gonna call it now. Whoever that dude is, he isn't human. I'm just saying. Oh! It's a squid people! And it comes with a face and wings. Great. It is possible to assume that due to volcanic activities in the Earth's crust, the climate here is humid and temperate, but we don't know exactly whether this is the case. That theory somehow explains the nature of those small scattered fragments of obsidian along with the cryptic stone well that welcomes you wall that welcomes you when entering via the round gate. As men of science, we cannot fully grasp most of the phenomena happening around us. No apparent sign has been left behind, indicating the true motives of the carvers of these inconceivably old caverns. All I'm sure of is that the place holds something strange. Grasping the soil here firmly with both hands gives me a rudimentary sensation I cannot translate into words, something I'm sure no other mortal man has hitherto perceived. Hitherto? Ooh. It's breaking out that master's degree. Dang. Were those maze-like tunnels flooded at some point in time, or were they carved underwater? This was the main topic of debate at last night's meeting, and what Dr. Faust hinted at on various occasions cited from a dark leather-bound book was too frightening, at least for the ones who could understand the underlying links. The megalithic statues, ornate standing stones, and the flat areas of polished rock we could see at some points made us think that this place could be a religious temple complex of some sort. We cannot imagine what it looked like in its former days, and now it lies in ruins, barren without any sign of underwater fauna 
Oh, Flora. Oh, squid people statues. Who's carving these? Where's their wings? We finished tweaking the submarines one last time. And again, they are ready enough for the next uncertain voyage ahead. This time, we will also mark the way with light sources to make it easier for later expeditions. In a short while, all members of Primary Underwater Exploration Party led by Dr. James Barlow will head for the next destination, which appears to be towards the mythical entrance to the legendary Netherworld. I don't... I... Look... Believe it or not, I do have some fleeting moments of free time, and I've been spending a lot of them in the nether. I don't really want to go there in this game, thank you. But again, I wonder whether we are looking for something that is not to be found. After all I've experienced, read and studied here, after all those sleepless nights spent discussing the laws of nature and how to bend them, what lies beyond and how to reach a certain state to see more without eyes. Even I cannot help but think this journey may easily lead straight to hell, but we have to go through it all in search of answers. Dr. Morgan C. Blake. Okay. Um. Can I have this? It'd be a really good idea to have more than one light. I'm just saying. Would you like to get on the submarine? No, I'd like to get in it. still haven't found an explanation for this glove yet. All in due time, but I'm just curious. Jumping at the bit. The first submarine explorations revealed what was land. I wasn't reading that anyways. Okay. Look around, move forwards and backwards. Oh, so it's helicopter controls. Okay. I, uh... Oh! Okay, it's one of these deals. Okay. Oh no. I probably should have been briefed on this. I feel like we can start descending a bit here. Oh boy. There was no strafe control, so... Oh man, this is a tight fit. Please. Don't die. I think I need to go down slightly. Okay. Oh my goodness. What the heck is that? Hi. What? Okay. Whatever. It's a fish. It's a fish, people. What the heck? Oh, don't go up. Go down. <laughs> Is all of this. I've lost the lights. Never mind. There's one right there. Oh, I love submarines. Oh, I didn't mean to go faster. Let's go slower. Jeez. Taking my time because um stop 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 okay is there a way through there that doesn't look like it that doesn't look like I can get through there. you call this thing highly maneuverable. How maneuverable is that exactly? Oh my goodness. I am so close to the ground. I can't really go up any higher. Uh, okay. We made it through. Somehow. Miraculously. Hello? Yes? Huh. 
Uh-huh. I totally understand. I think. I'm still following the lights. It's the only thing I know to do. I was born to follow the lights. Alright, through the giant rock sphincter. I like the sounds of that. Oh, another sphincter. Cool. Oh my goodness. It's another tight fit. Turn around and go back, to be totally honest. I think I preferred the haunted camp, honestly. At least that ghost didn't seem like he wanted to hurt me. Now I've got giant octopus squid alien things swimming around down here with me. Great. Awesome. And the visibility down here kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh... Okay. Was that supposed to happen? This time it was, because I have no idea what I would have done differently. Okay, it was supposed to happen. Oh! Sure. I'm done with this place anyway. Forget it. Okay. Is this where I'm gonna find out that I was the spooky ghost? Hi. Hold on. Locked. I still can't go in my room. Alright, fine. Whatever. Selfies. Can I search a room? Can I have your stuff? Oh, I took that. Okay. <laughs> the power of this place, I believe, it is too strong for the mind and body. At the least, it disorients, disorients the feelings, bodily functions, and even more so the powers of judgment. Nevertheless, I didn't expect or even prepare for what happened during the session we held two days ago. Frank was not able to rise from the deep. Still, what strikes me the most is his contorted look and his speech when he came back to life. It was only subtle, but I was able to detect it. Doubtlessly, a revulsion of feeling was apparent in his countenance. There was something unnatural, something bizarre behind his marbled eyes. It seemed that he saw the deepest time frame we had been searching for a long time. I cannot be so sure about that for his consciousness may have been hindering the flow of communication, but it is still highly possible. His speech, even though it was almost indiscernible, seemed awkward and foreign. The pronunciation was barbarously alien and his diction had a curiously stilted quality. Beyond any doubt, the speaker was not Frank. I tried to speak to him, but he seemed unaware of me. He kept looking at a certain point on the wall in front. What I discerned from his speech was a long dead language. What only a few people know today, myself included. Disasis? I'm not sure how to say that. So as the sole person who understood what he had said, and I will keep it that way until everything is settled. The past two nights, Frank has woken up screaming, covered in a cold sweat, unable to remember the contents, the contents, the contents of his dreams, the things that caused him to scream intensely enough to render Mr. Barlow speechless. I will consult PK about this event as soon as possible. Take care, E. Warren Ross. Um, did I die during an expedition, and I've been a spooky ghost this whole time? Read inscription. A photograph cylinder of the sawn, 
Uh, yes. I back. Your hand, Sebastian. Back. Change a trophy item. Stuck. Cool. You're stuck. Um, this kind of looks esoteric. Can I have it? I like esoteric stuff. Okay. Okay. Ah. Where, where am I? I got gobbled up by the squid thing. Did I get out you? here? I don't know. When? Where? How? Why? Okay. Forward we go, I guess. This has been really, really cool so far. Kind of liking this a lot. It's been like two hours. I feel like I've been here for 40 minutes. I wish there was more stuff like this instead of all these chase heavy horror games. Why do I say things, things? Now I'm gonna get ambushed. And I'm gonna have to run. I'm gonna take it all back. To other expedition parties. Is there anyone who can read me? One person is dead, and two others have been injured by the partial ice cave collapse. There is something here with us. Do not come through our expedition route. I repeat, do not come through our expedition route. Yes, I read you. This is Frank. For God's sake, what happened? And please, tell me where I can find you. Frank. Do not stray from your path. We have come across something... terrible. Do not come here through our expedition route, no matter what happens. Okay. It looks like this fiendish netherworld depends on some kind of energy. An Why did your cadence change? energy that is stored in curious stoneworks similar to an obelisk with crystals on top. And they are able to clear away some of the strange plants. Dr. Faust? Dr. Faust? Oh, come on, not again! This is nonsense. I cannot understand what is going on. This stonework seems weak. Body missile time? Come on. Let's get a run and start. Wow. That's a... That's a face. Only a mother. But I also hate. My vision's doing that weird thing again, doctor. <laughs> oh. As I predicted, a race reptilian in physiology lived inside these ruins after the original builders. The elder things left the area after some unknown cataclysmic event, now lost in an archaic and lost oh. chapter of Earth's history. This relief depicts some reptilian creatures treating an elder thing with reverence. Uh -huh. And the other relief with four tall figures, I believe symbolizes empty vessels Gollums. We've seen the same vessel figures depicted as assuming different roles several times in most of the murals or reliefs we've come across so far. I can't move it. The ice on the track is obstructing the movement. Oh, there we go. Smashy, smashy. I'll move it with my mind powers. Didn't know I had those, huh? Okay. Alright. Eh. Uh. Cool. So 
said that work. We're good. Just a Silent Hill thing. We used the snowstorm so that we didn't have to make the whole thing, you know. Huh. And the brambles were suddenly gone. Spooky rock. Ooh. I know what this is. It's one of those talisman things, which is why I need to shove in here. Migraines. Um. 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 Uh, I'd like to report a sighting. Um. Hi. Oh. They're a little bigger than I thought they'd be. This stonework seems weak. You seem weak. Um, oh no. I've got another migraine coming in. Oh, no. oh there it is. Set, set of circles uh. we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here. Matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. Uh huh. It's an upside down crooked frowny face. Oh, I thought I had to memorize that. Okay, never mind. Hi. Surely you are not insinuating what remember you think this I am. Symbol. I don't remember that one either. Now that you mention it. Um. Oh! Oh! Um. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Uh, drawings. It's that one. It's the UFO. It's the UFO with a proton bomb. Coming out of it. Is this one? Hmm. This symbol is exactly the same with the one I saw in the vision about repetition of specific symbols within the caverns below the base. Wow, that was wordy. How many of you just said you're wordy? I. I guess I don't have a defense to that, do I? Alright, I now have the glowing alien egg. The right and proper thing to do is to take this, this alien egg seems weak. and use it as fire magic. This is... Okay. Fine. No fire magic. Cut it. What? Bless you? What the heck is this? I don't remember seeing this. Is this where we hatch the dragon egg? Fire dragon drag. Dragon drag? Yes. That. And this will shoot a beam of fire into the sky from our baby dragon. And it will expel the snowstorm. Or, or we'll do that. Okay. Oh. Ooh. It's a Z. A Z that is drop kicking really fast. Is that a symbol for lightning? I noted down the sign. Okay. Well, there it is. And bam. I think no. I can tear it down with some effort. Well, then do it. 
Wait a minute. Oh. <clears throat> uh, darn this wall. Take out all my frustrations. This is therapeutic. I like this. We're good. You found a secret. Did I? I found a secret though. Hola. it forever. I would like to knock you over. If that's okay with you. This kind of looks like dead by daylight while I'm holding this. Oh. Hi. Um, this is mine now, apparently. Okay. A feather mask I took from the head of one of the skeletons sitting silently in their eternal resting places. Signs of color that can be seen on the now solidified feathers made me think how flamboyant it might once have been. Okay. Cool. I'm taking this. I'm sorry. I didn't- I didn't think I actually would. Um... If I pretend I didn't see that, will it go away? What the heck was that? Okay, there was a face or something in there. Well, that was... over. It disappeared. That's good. Um. Oh no. Vampires. Don't freak out. I have an axe. It's not wood. But. Uh. Um. Uh. Hi. Uh. Oh, it's you again. Oh, my brain parts. You're so ugly, I can't even take it. Oh, you're so horrendous. Oh, you're visually so terrible, I can't even comprehend being here right now. Hi. Okay. Um. Oh, oh, oh God. What was that all about? A, a vision, perhaps? Oh, I think somehow it has something to do with the intense headaches. Yeah, it could be. You know, might be. I think we established that mm, about two hours Blood? and eleven minutes ago. Blood? Wait, what? Blood? Can I take this thing with me? That would be really nice. Are you kidding? <laughs> hey. Bless you. Ooh. Oh. Ah. So I can go this way now. Correct? Yeah. I just found out. I can just push C and we'll re-equip the last thing I had equipped. I kinda wish I knew that a little sooner. The power of stone compels you. Okay. Thank you. Ball. Dome. What? Don't dunk your head in there. Start drawing a line. Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. Uh, 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 uh. So, 
Eh. Eh. I had to draw it in a specific way. Oh my goodness. Whatever. Oh. Okay. for secrets. Auto save. That's comforting. Okay. Sure. Headaches. Yes. It is depicted here. Our gateway Whoa. out of this world. These reliefs clearly portray ancient Conarium. The thing I have been searching for my whole life. As much oh. as I can understand. That one depicts a seemingly dead city as an ever-living organism with lots of mummified bodies connected to the device. Uh-huh. Incredible. Uh, uh, and the other one depicts an ancient cornarium which is connected to another one, most probably outside of this planet or maybe out of this dimension. Oh my, this is just marvelous. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that is necessarily marvelous. I'm not gonna lie. It kinda seems like a problem. Maybe something we should be concerned about. Can you not? Now I have to go all the way back. Oh. Um. Um. Oh. Oh. I can't bear the pain anymore. Uh. Okay. There'd be more to that. I guess not. Oh, hi. What's up? Um. Oh, 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 I'm running. Uh, I don't know. This way. I'm apparently running now. Dang it. I was really hoping this wouldn't turn into a run and hide game. Wait, what? Oh, come on. It's still there. What do I do? Go around him like that. I don't understand. I don't understand at all. 
I just try to loop him like that. Oh! Okay. Alright. That's not a great sign, is it? I'm running into the fog. I don't know what to do. Is that supposed to happen? All these must be the products oh. of my disordered imagination and nothing more. Oh, I see. Okay. I was never actually in any danger. Got it. Man, I broke out the looping tactics for that one. All I had to do was stand there and just take it to the face. Okay. <laughs> Definitely this way. Darn thing. Oh my goodness. Charge. Okay. Um, is that an elder thing? Oh, it's a statue of one. Okay. Interesting. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna charge this here. Thank you. Oh, walkie-talkie. Are you there? Oh my goodness. Me, Hush. Please. Okay, this kind of feels like it's going really deep that direction. So I want to see what's up here first. Oh, to you too. Oh no, not another migraine. Is the wriggling thing? Hi. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh. Hi. What's up? Um. Mine now. Ornate sacrificial dagger. Wholly intact and still amazingly sharp, even after all these years of desolation, the elaborate carvings and curious metal metallic surface signify a reptilian nature. Uh-huh. Looks like an Argonian blade. Okay. Cool. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Wait. Can I stab things with it? Dang it. Okay, fine. I mean, not that I'm happy to... Stab things. It's just, it would be really nice to be able to defend myself, is all I'm saying. I mean, Leon got a gun. How come I don't have a gun? 
Um, I appear to be transcending to the spirit realm. I, I'm in the spirit realm. I am no longer in the land of the living. Hello. I believe no more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone. Can I just Sparta kick you in that? I just want to know what it does. Dr. Faust? No? Okay. <laughs> what? You want me to... I'm in a... Alien. Oh my. <sighs> now where am I? Uh, was, was that a sheer delusion? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Need to be cautious. Not to let anyone else see this grand collection. It could be extremely dangerous for both of us. Was that a threat? Okay, what is your grand collection? Can I ask a couple questions? Actually, this time I have more than a couple. I have a few. Why am I opening this? I don't really want the heads from Mesopotamian marshlands. Such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under the scorching sun with methods now lost to us. As well as the sun, they were believed to be symbols of knowledge. <laughs> to make the head speak. That was horrific. Thank you for that. I don't know why. Anyway, I'm not taking the whole A alligator out of there. Adult Nile crocodile. One of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth. Alongside your mom. Oh. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I... <clears throat> what is this? A medicine man mask from Northwest oh. Africa. Uh-huh. Is it meant to scare you into feeling well? That is... A sacrifice that's an alien. Mask from Middle Africa. I'm... What? Are there still... Are there still tribes out there that sacrifice to... Alright, well... I'm taking this, apparently. It's mine now. Wow. It's bright. Do I get... Do I get to keep this forever? Dude, fix your house. Oh my goodness. This relic is from Madagascar. I have mm -hmm. two versions, but this one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanaldi. Nobody knows exactly what it means, but from its symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one, it is thought that it could mean the underworld. And I where had it do you brought get by the... an old captain friend who often visits that island for trading purposes. Great, awesome. Thank you for that information. These are 100%. Master necromancy staffs. Probably made with black soul gems, if I had to guess. Oh, yay. More masks. Mask of an all powerful moon goddess, esteemed by an eastern island tribe, now lost in time. It is from the private collection of the late famous hermit, Klaus von Herdeth. Don't ask me how I get it. I have my ways. I mean, I didn't, and you you brought it up anyways, and now I'm very suspicious. Elusive mask Ugh. from the submerged parts of Kerguelen Islands. Kerguelen. Okay. A cryptic oh, that's mask terrifying. with an untraced origin. Oh, how oh, wonderful. Cool. Is that real? This I... is called the Mask of the Beholder. Uh-huh. Skulls from New Guinea that are believed to be housing protective spirits. Uh-huh. I don't know which direction 
advances the story. I don't want to leave yet before we take a good look around. You're terrifying. Woodland Lizard Spirit Mask. It definitely says lizard. No, it doesn't. Uh, that does. A serpentine ritual mask from India, which is said to have hypnotic effects on the one who deeply gazes into its eyes. Uh huh. Anyone gazing into its eyes right now? Is it working? Do you feel hypnotized? Well, I hope not. Otherwise, you're probably not conscious enough to hear this conversation right now, actually. I really... Dis... Mm, it sounded like the floor is hollow back there. Uh-huh. There's a basement. I need to go in the basement first. Or you take me on a trip. Oh. Um... Locked. You're locked. Piece of paper. Line outside the known space-time continuum. This is a dimension to which the gate is the knowledge, and the key is the conarium. As we start to shed our fleshly blinding bindings, we started to perceive more and more. If we inquire by merely knowing and thinking on any subject matter, windows to real related time and space open up before our non-material selves, our minds. And what's better, we've grasped what the experience is. I got distracted. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Is this just a stain? Oh, I'm kind of in the burial. There's all that. And what's better, we've grasped that the experiences in the sessions are shared and even improved by all the attendees' personal knowledge. Even thinking about the possibilities that may bestow upon us and our quest for transcending the limits of our mortal bodies is about to make me crazy, but sometimes I wonder what has been keeping our sanity intact inside this forbidden place. Behind the thick walls of pitch darkness surrounding us, there is something looming, whispering in my ears a language familiar, yet I cannot discern its content. Tons? It's stuck. You're stuck. Penguin. It's mine now. Emperor Penguin. The figure of an Emperor Penguin, a creature native to Antarctica. It is mine now. Okay, thank you. That's at least a happy one to have. A native drum from the Asmat people of New Guinea. Their creation myth says ah. Fumeripits made the first carvings of men and women. By beating on this drum, Fumeripits caused the figures to dance, bringing them to life. According to legend, this very djembe belonged to a learned drummer from Senegal who can speak with the dead by rhythmically beating it. Uh-huh. What? Oh. Eh. Eh. One, six, one, three. Is that a combination? One, six, one, three? One, six, one, three. I need a phonograph cylinder. Oh my goodness. Dr. E. W. Ross, how can we comprehend exactly how much time has passed since the erection of the early cigarettes of Sam Sup Samaria? Oh my goodness. Brain. What can we know about the time worn Sphinx, still standing at the Giza Plateau? They only justify the sheer ignorance of mankind by forcefully making us admit our instantaneous vibrations in the vast cosmos are but an illusion. Today I want to inform you about something that is equally as interesting as such edifices. That's something I presume you will have a hard time believing. I have finally acquired some information regarding the fabled cities of Rub Al Rub Rub Al Kali Kali that place. Which are said to have been built in the undrummed age of certain wonders and rumored to have been intentionally submerged submerged beneath the eternally shifting sands thousands of years ago. There is even more to the story. According to the reliable, a reliable source, there should be depictions or information about the locations of ancient conariums buried within those halls. Within a few weeks, I receive a book containing the location of those cities and a map predating all maps known today, directly copied from the antediluvian originals. 
I am sure you are excited beyond imagination and eager to discuss these findings in detail, but that will have to wait a while since I'll be away for some time visiting the oriental wonders of the old world. I am sure you know what I mean. Hope to see you soon. Harley Warren. I don't know what you mean. What does that mean? Oh. Okay. Yep. Okay. There we go. That's very bright. Thank you for that. Okay. That's mine now. Thank you. Ooh. Hey, what's this? When using Conarium, we are able to be seen as well as to see. For some time, I was detecting a conscious something, previously unseen by my rudimentary vestiges. Only lately, it becomes clear to me. Mm -hmm. Now it comes into every session and seems to materialize more and more each time. Mm -hmm. I, won't, I won't attempt describing it, but only would say that it's not benevolent. Mm -hmm. From what I can get from its glowing semblance, which I believe is used as a way of communication, it can sense you only if you spend a considerable time within the sessions. I've read about it in the Cursed Necronomicon and some elusive records compiled from deep-rooted Bedouin oral literature. Mm -hmm. Thus learned that it tries reaching the corporeal vessel to dominate and execute the wanderers of the beyond, such as ourselves. Uh -huh. But again, Wait a minute. Execute. against all warnings, I was a fool to believe that I can stop it with just simple signs and incantations. As a resort, we ended up lighting up the place with myriads of candles as well as electrical lamps. But still shiver with fear, with every noise our rundown enclave is causing. Isolated from ancient darkness of the night. Did you just describe this place as rundown? Dude, this is not rundown. This is dilapidated. It is far beyond rundown. All right. Oh. What did that? I don't know what did that. I guess we're just leaving. Wait, does this actually go to this door? Oh, it does. Yes, is the answer to this. Okay, um, hold on. It's not in my drawings. Alright, um, alright. I guess we're going back up here. I'm saying it's randomly. 1613. Was there a 13? Wait a minute. Hold on. Six. Is that what changed? Because I'm very sure that's not what that painting was a moment ago. Also, why is there a horse? One of these? Thirteen right there. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to- oh wait, is it feathers? Relic from Madagascar, two versions. The underworld. A dark sphere inside a light one. Okay. Six is moon. Mesopotamia cultivated mines kept in permanence, dried under the scorching sun. Okay. Locked. Ah, darn it. So scorching sun, moon, and a dark sphere within a light one. Okay, there we go. Alright. Goodness. I need a phonograph cylinder. You need a photograph phonograph cylinder thing. Found it. <laughs> if only they all all of them are that easy to find. 
goodness. <clears throat> in archaic myths, lurking in shunned and forbidden volumes, I've been able to trace some parts, speaking about a device of non-terrestrial origin that is capable of much more than I could ever imagine. Uh -huh. Ancient cornariums, I will call them. Machines uh -huh. which are said to have been built long before mankind ever tread on this planet. The very source of the design I've used to make my own version of the machine. Uh -huh. How do you know if you got it right? I mean, if we're talking about multiple dimensions and stuff. I hope the ladder doesn't give out under my weight. Why put that thought in your mind before you... Oh my goodness. Oh well. You know, at least it'll be a near instant death. Don't slip. You're gonna look up and there's gonna be something there. No? If this just leads to a loading screen, I'm gonna be a little pissed. Nope. Still not there. Alright. Cool. Um... Uh, okay, so here's the thing. I normally try to avoid dark, spooky cellars, just in general, but especially ones that have a very weird-looking, ominous glow and some type of alien piece of technology on the table at the end that was probably built by a mad scientist, hence why we're being hunted. It's stuck. <laughs> Yeah, this is why. This is why we avoid these. Um... I... I'd like to... I... Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'd like, other than to just to get out of here. Cylinder. You need a phonograph still. I found it. Huh. Maybe they are all... all very easy to find. Maybe I'm just dumb. It is said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of with the help of the bodily mm -hmm. sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, and dimensions, and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Uh -huh. Yes, I know how this sounds to you. This is incomprehensible, even for someone like me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. It is just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time forevermore, and we failed to read between the lines. Yeah, about those between the lines. Um, there's complicating factors between those lines, too. Just saying. Okay, you're finding shapes in the. Okay, whatever. I remember this place. And what we achieved here, violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where, forcing them to cooperate by the means of the cursed necromancy and dreaming their oh dreams in those profane sessions to learn forbidden knowledge. Now I can distinctly see how pure madness once roamed here within our own shoes. Okay. Cool. Great. Now this is good hidden object design right here. You draw your attention with the candles and boom. There's a key. What door does this go to? I apparently this one. Alright. Uh well, hi. <laughs> I'd like to get out of this place. What the heck? 
Because it reminds me of amnesia. Hi. What's up? You're phasing in and out of reality. Look what you did. You crashed the game. Oh no. Never mind. It's all good. <laughs> oh, hi. What's up? Can I have your stone tablet, sir? No? Okay. I noted down the symbol. What symbol? I'll... What the heck? Oh! I knew it. Oh! All those years of extensive research have not been Can I have this? Here it is. Lying dormant and standing still beneath the eternally shifting sands of Rubal Kali for who knows how many millennia. So... We're in an entirely different continent now. Got it. Am I not in Antarctica anymore? I'm telling you, man, these are death hallucinations. I'm still part of that plant. The cat tricked me. Oh. Hello. Okay. Lots of lizard people. Uh, oh. Uh, that would be what the axe was for. Smashy smashy. The hallway seems like it was intentionally blocked with this ornate wall. Uh-huh. There are some primal writings inscribed on it. Uh-huh. Hmm. As far as I can tell, the text talks about a guardian. A formless, glistening, and reflectively iridescent black protoplasm. Able to mock mm -hmm. and reflect all forms and organs. Um, you mean like the scary ghost people in the Antarctic base? Oh, I do smash this. Forget your stupid explanation. Forget history. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking this. This is the way that Indiana Jones taught me to do this. Look out for boulder traps. Oh. Damn it. This is another drawing puzzle. Oh my goodness. I can't remember that. Hold on. Oh, hey. The Morse code picture. I guess we never needed that. Alright. Because I have a feeling that's what this is for. So. These two are down here. Like that. This one. Is. Like that. And then. I need. Two down like this, and then I need three across the top. There we go. Okay. Take the ancient plunger, I guess. found it. This mural is depicting the continents in the middle... Hmm. Jurassic era, I believe. Uh, uh. This is marvelous, as well as overwhelming. <laughs> the light from the device is obviously showing the locations of the ancient conariums. Yes, it definitely is so, for I've known two of these places from the detailed petroglyphs in the secret halls beneath the Khafre's pyramid. But they all had gone now. Even their ruins had been crumbled under the waves of human cruelty and the merciless time. But this lowermost landmass is what we call Antarctica today. It is most probable 
that the structure that holds the Conarium is mostly enduring still today. Are we Faust right now? I think we're Faust right now. Alright, well. Thanks for that, I guess. Well, the game did say earlier that we can absorb the memories of other people in the Conarium session. What's happening? Am I dying? I Is this what it's like to be a monster hunter when you don't have tremor resistance? Um, I think I should probably leave quickly. I'm telling you. What the heck is that? Okay, we are gone. We are gone. Just leave. Just go. Go, 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 go. Hi. Okay. Um. Okay. I just outran an alien amoeba. A giant amoeba. A really, really giant amoeba. I'm definitely dead. I died a long time ago, didn't I? I didn't want to be back here, actually. You know, I was okay leaving behind the continent of snow and misery. It's stuck. You're stuck. Yeah, I gotta stop saying that. Hmm. It's stuck. Huh? Ah. Um, my room is a crater. Literally. Oh no, it's a puddle. I guess. I've, I got eaten by a plant. This is the price we must pay for our transgressions. The price to be paid for breaking away from the limits of mortal flesh and delving into arcana of consciousness that few have trod. What the hell is going on? You are naive for suppressing our truest aspirations. Such earthly fear of improbability detached you from our absolute purpose. Oh. I, I definitely lost my mind. No, you definitely got eaten by the plant. Uh. <laughs> okay. That looked a little bit like a tentacle. I'm not super comfortable when tentacles get involved. Those are definitely tentacles. Exactly is happening. Dragon! I told you that thing earlier was a dead person. Not a dead person, but a dragon egg. Hi, dead person. Oh god. Is that me? What has happened to him? No, Dr. Faust, Faust, can you hear me? Are you alright? Yes. I can scarcely hear you. Mm -hmm. How terrific is the price of a single glimpse behind the veil of nature. Frank, mm -hmm. we've sought to escape from the, the tedium and limitations of waking reality into beckoning vistas of fabled avenues of other dimensions. Uh -huh. But did it work? Or was all in vain for us to begin with. I lost my sight and 
I cannot feel my legs anymore. Our bodies are falling apart under such alien sensations of this accursed device we used to open forbidden doors of time and space. Uh-huh. And I feel every part of my body is failing fast. I have no power within me to resist my downward course now. Okay. So you... You have to move on. There is no other way. Reach uh -huh. the ancient conarium and shed your deteriorated skin. Okay. Else consume some of this. It will ease your pain. But eventually you will end up like me. And I'm... I have such small... Dr. Faust! Dr. Faust! He is dead. Uh-huh. What if he was just like, boo? Just kidding. Alright, well, I should probably keep going. Rest in pepperoni, Dr. Faust. Those kind of look like bones. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I like this very much. Alright. Well. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Okay. Do I still have my Rock of Destiny? I do, but Destiny is not charged, so. I've noted down the symbols. I wonder what these symbols might be used for. So do I. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. <sighs> How do I know which way's which? Squiggly Z and dead fish. Okay, dead fish is not on this one. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, that's how. Okay, I see. So this one is actually the top one. Okay, because this one's. The lower one signifies the low, the outer rain, and then the top one signifies the inner rain. So like base, top, base, top, base, top, etc. Okay, so the exploding battery. Hey, there we go. Did it. Uh. Wait, am I powering up a golem? Wait, I can rotate these? Does it matter which direction I go? Not. Oh, okay. Did it. Victory. Roll credits. Oh. Uh... Um, 
Did I... Did I want... <sighs> did I want to... Did I want to wake him up? Okay. I can charge my stone off of you. Yes, please. Thank you. I didn't, like, sap your power away, did I? Oh my goodness, he looks cool. Oh my goodness. He's so cool. forward. Oh, there's so many brambles. Please. Okay. I win. Do I win? Did, did I win? Um. Just go up here. Oh, I feel migraine coming on. into a rock. <laughs> it's been a long day. What can I say? Um. Okay. I once again have some questions. Do I poke it? Poke. Do I just... Did I crash the game? Interesting. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll send the crash report. That sounds good. Before. So... Do we get the ending now? Do I get the... Oh! I get to stick my hand in it. Uh-oh. Whoa. Okay. What? Okay. Um, this existence might be a little confusing. Might be a little nauseating too. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if I can take looking at that. Oh! Ayugwaid. Okay. Well. I crashed the game again. We're good. I have fish person hands. Um. 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 Uh. Uh. uh oh. Um. Uh. That's. That's it. I... I have become fish. Okay. Alright. Jonathan Cook as Frank Gilman. Has he done anything else? Because that voice was extremely familiar. Alright. Well. That was interesting. <laughs> um. Hmm. Well. I don't really have any criticisms to make, which is a new one for me. Because, like, the only thing I could really say was the lack of guidance for certain things. But that was just the style of game it was. It was a hidden object game. That was really cool, though. This stuck very faithful to HP Lovecraft. I kind of want to know where all the rest of the secrets are, but I guess that's for my my own personal study at some point. It's a shame it crashed once, but in the four hours we've been recording, the one crash isn't too bad. This came out in 2017. 
Jeez. Well, that was really cool. And the graphics and the visuals were 100% on point. Sorry for the barking dog in the background. Huh. Game results. Oh, almost four hours. We didn't even actually play for four hours. Overall progress, 51%. I saw 51% of everything in the game. <laughs> Secrets found, 0 of 7. Alright. Well. Okay. There was a lot more to see here, apparently. Oh, we might have to do that again at some point. Or I'll just do it on my own time. Doesn't matter. Either way. Wait. Game ending. There's more than one ending? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well... It, it remains to be seen whether or not I'll come back to this game on this channel for this, or if I'll just do it in my own time at some point. Not anytime soon, though, because we still have a lot to do for October. For now, that'll be it. So, like and share the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for hanging out with me. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. A very special thank you to everybody on this list for helping this channel keep growing and for making videos like this one possible. Your support means the world to me. Thank you so much. If you'd like to see your name on this list, all the details are in the description below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.